In today's readings, we heard powerful reminders of the reality of the future life, of eternal life, of heaven, and also of the need to live our lives here on earth you know, with this heavenly view, as it were, before us, you know, doing things in this world in view of heaven. Today's gospel passage from Luke chapter 6 narrates the Beatitudes preached by our Lord Jesus, each of which focuses our attention on the eternal reward in store for those who strive to live the gospel during this earthly life, even at the cost of suffering, uh, sacrifice, and persecution. Christ consoles and assures his followers, rejoice and leap for joy on that day, that day when you are experiencing suffering or sacrifice or persecution for his name. And rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. In the first reading from the letter to the Colossians chapter three, St. Paul similarly reminds us of the reality of eternal life with Christ, a reality that begins even now. He encourages all Christians with the words, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. A regular remembrance and reflection on the reality of eternal life can certainly help us to live a good life, a virtuous and holy life, to avoid sin, to avoid all that offends God, to avoid all that harms us, and to avoid all that is an obstacle to our goal of reaching eternal life in heaven. In this regard, St. Paul continues in his letter that we heard, put to death then the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. By these, you too once conducted yourselves when you lived in that way, but now you must put them all away. As Christians, we are to live in the world while not being of the world. But today's world you know, things have changed greatly with the increased secularism and so many distractions and temptations you know, that we have to face. And these seek to uh, place our focus only on the things of this world. Because of the situation we are living in today, we need to be more mindful than ever of the reality of eternal life. You know, there's much saying in the truth, out of sight, out of mind. For us as Christians, heaven must never be out of sight, in a sense. It must never be out of our minds, out of our hearts. But it must be, on the contrary, always you know, in sight, in our minds, in our hearts. Only in this way can we succeed with the help of God's grace to live a life that's truly Christian, a life that is not earthly, worldly, but a life that is heavenly. There are so many ways in which we can realize this heavenly life right here and now, above all, by living a life of prayer, staying close to our Lord in the sacraments, staying close to our Blessed Mother Mary, who ensures that we stay united with Christ, her Son, 
especially the greatest way, the most efficacious way you know, to live the heavenly life, that is to stay close to Jesus in the Eucharist. This is what Our Lady would help us to, to do during the surfy life, stay especially close to him in the most blessed sacrament, to be nourished by the bread come down from heaven, the Eucharist, heaven in our midst, Jesus in the Eucharist, to receive that bread that makes saints and strengthens them during their earthly pilgrimage so as to reach the heavenly homeland. You know, dear brothers and sisters, let us stay very close to our Lord in the Eucharist, and this will help us to live a heavenly life, a life that is a true preparation for heaven and a real foretaste of heaven. Let us now continue to prepare ourselves you know, to receive heaven in our hearts in Holy Communion. Praise be Jesus and Mary.